reported to some BP today? How do you, how do you look? He feels good. I mean, he did some uh, some agility drills with, with our training staff, and uh, he took some batting practice. Feels good. Available off the bench, and you know, unless he shows up tomorrow here in pain or something, he uh, will be playing. Do you like playing uh, contending teams this time of year? I mean, kind of a similar role. Or more juice in the games when you play contenders. I like playing contending teams because it it kind of raises the energy level if it's not there. It should be regardless of who you're playing, the energy level, but automatically does. Um, not necessarily for the spoiling thing. I mean, I don't. I really, you know, don't. Don't enjoy that. I just enjoy winning ball games, regardless of who you play. But, but uh, I do like because something is on the line, and, and if somebody doesn't have the energy level that they should have, uh, that kind of races. Would you ever manage differently against a contender, like something that you feel like you're obligated to play your best team? No, nah, not not at all. No. I mean, uh, I try to have my same game plan every day and just try to win the ball game, regardless of who I'm playing. You know. I, Sometimes we do things out of the ordinary if we're in a prolonged slump, uh, you know, losing streak. Uh, but uh, other than that, no. I mean, same approach every day. Any plans to call anyone up tomorrow? Or are you not sure yet? No, we are sure. You know, uh, Carlos Carrasco is going to be not only called up, but he's starting tomorrow for us. Uh, he's going to show up uh, later today in town and. Starting tomorrow for us here. Who else could you see coming up? Uh, well, we're not going to go into names uh, for now. It's just Carlos is going to come tomorrow, and we're, we're probably expecting to to recall a, a reliever because our, our bullpen has been a little beat up. So that series against Kansas City and a couple of guys not being deep in the game. Uh, but as up to now, just Carlos for now. It's so I can give Will he take a regular turn the whole September? Yes, then? indeed, my friend. That's why he's coming over. He's uh, he's going to get an opportunity to start uh, every five days here. We want to see him uh, as much as we can. And uh, what we like too is that he's lined up uh, to go against not only these guys, but he'll see the Angels, he'll see the Twins, and you know this is going to be. You know we're looking forward to it. I think he's uh, he's had a tremendous year in AAA, and he's one of those guys that we really need him to come around. In order for us to build a uh, uh, starting rotation for the future here. I know you haven't seen him since spring training, but what have you? How, how do you? How, what does scouting report say on how he's progressed? Well, he was working mainly over there on on um, slowing the game down and, and being able to, to hold runners and, and pitch inside effectively and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, he's done everything we asked him to do. And you know, this is the second solid Triple A season that this guy has in a row. I know he he had a rough uh, September here last year. And, you know, some people felt that he was probably a little bit uh, tired, and uh, you know, it's about maturing. This guy's uh, just 23 years old. He's got probably as as high a ceiling as anybody that we have starting here. So it, it's a matter of uh, putting it together, and you know, he's very important. What we're trying to accomplish here. I mean, we uh, wish nothing but that this guy comes up over here, be lights out, and, and go into spring training. It, you know, being a, a good option for us. Do you think he's developed his secondary pitches? I mean, when he came up in September, it looked like everything was hard. And, you know, I mean, do you think he's? I, we we like these secondary pitches in spring training. I, I think uh, what a lot of people felt that happened that last year here was that he was up in the zone with his fastball mostly. But I mean he's he's a tall rangy kid that if he gives a fastball from you know a downward plane and he's got a good breaking ball and a good change up. It's just a matter of maturing and learn how to use those and attacking hitters up here. I think he's got the stuff to be a, a good one. And uh, you know he's only twenty three. That's another thing that a lot of people miss is that um, he's got plenty of time to develop and uh, 
and uh, as much as we want him to be ready right now, he still has time. Now, will you stay 